Hi, welcome back to another video where today we're gonna be reacting to Uncle Roger hating Food Network Adobo. So as a Filipino myself, I love adobo. I love all the variants of it. So the key ingredients of a typical adobo are soy sauce, vinegar, black peppercorn, dahon ng laurel, which is actually dried bay leaves, and then the chicken, pork, or even beef, I don't know. My expectations for this video, hmm, not so much because I mean it's, it's another British network show so they've known to have fucked up pho which is a Vietnamese dish how would I know if they will fuck up Filipino dishes as well so let's just start okay let's see if this chef follows it and how Uncle Roger will hate it because <laughs> because the title says so so let's start some parsley what 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 parsley <laughs> All right, all right. First word, and you fucked it up. No one puts parsley in a fucking adobo. <laughs> we review nephew Jeffy Sakarian making Filipino adobo. Oh this boy. dish has many variation. Everybody make it different way. Correct. There's actually a lot of ways to make adobo. There's chicken, pork, beef, or maybe vegetables. This nephew Jeffy, he wearing suit. To make Asian food, I, uh, Uncle Roger don't have good feeling about this. If you make every Filipino food, you usually wear an apron. If not, it's actually just a t-shirt and shorts and an apron to make it look good, to make you look like a chef. In Filipino dishes, the simpler the dish, uh, the better it tastes. I mean, that's how I look on it. making a traditional dish of Filipino adobo. It's, note that it's traditional, okay? Traditional. Chicken thigh in a bag. Very Who the people sitting down? They just getting ignored. This is very important. <laughs> Some low sodium soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Low sodium. Try the low sodium. Oh, always. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wrong soy sauce, to be honest. In the Philippines, we actually use silver swan soy sauce or dato puti soy sauce and it's not low sodium, okay? It's not low sodium. Low sodium soy sauce is soy sauce with less flavor. True. Who want that? Hiya. Yup, yup, you said it. Don't be pussy. Buy regular soy sauce. Big man like you scare a little bit of sodium. Hiya. <laughs> always what? buy the low sodium. Oh, always. No! <laughs> There's a big difference between low sodium soy sauce and a regular soy sauce. The regular soy sauce is actually better than low sodium because it gives so much flavor, so much taste, and so much even better umami. <laughs> if that's how they call it. Uh, very inexpensive white vinegar. Vinegar, correct? Okay, vinegar, Maybe put yes. more Ooh, we Filipino people love vinegar. All the top, all the, all the top silverware. Right? Some <laughs> some brown sugar. Sugar, good. Some black pepper, a good amount of black, black pepper. Oh. Okay, so he's using uh, pamintang dorog. In typical adobo, we use uh, black peppercorns, which is actually um, whole, pamintang buo, we call it here in the Philippines. Okay, usually we use peppercorn. Habanero. Yep, he's right. Oh, ha what? Habanero. Habanero. habanero, no. No, habanero. Don't, we don't use habanero. <laughs> what even is habanero? Is it like type of chili or something? What he putting in there? Habanero. Oh. Habanero. Hiya. Habanero, don't even grow in Philippines. What you doing, soup nephew? Usually, Filipino food not even spicy. No need to put chili in there. But if you want to put chili, use Filipino chili. Habanero. Oh. Habanero. <laughs> That's the weirdest reaction to chili. Oh. <laughs> Habanero. Oh. Habanero. Habanero. So what he said there, uh, what Uncle Roger said there, Filipino... Usually, a lot of Filipino dish is not spicy. He's kind of correct. There are actually a lot of spicy Filipino dishes like Bicol Express. Okay, Bicol Express is actually spicy. Sisig is spicy. Dinakdakan is spicy. There are a lot more spicy Filipino dishes than everyone can think of. Oh. Okay, and we're going to mix this together, massage it. You went for it with that habanero, by the way. Massage it and put it in the in the. They can it not again overnight. <laughs> It really, it gets better, okay? Marinating, okay. And we're gonna strain the marinade. We're gonna reserve the marinade. We're gonna keep this. It's a lot of flavor. Okay. Yup, 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 yup. That's actually right. 
Then we're gonna take a, a beautiful Dutch oven. We're gonna sear it skin side down, get a really good color. Searing okay, but that optional. And who making a topo in this fancy <laughs> Le Creuset sauce pan? Hiya. You know how expensive this shit is? 270 yep. pounds? <laughs> it too fancy. <laughs> Just spending money on saucepan, spending money on expensive soup, <laughs> but the ingredient for a topo wrong? Oh, Why don't you spend yep. money on Filipino cookbook instead? Hiya! You can see the color that's happening here. It just looks fantastic, oh. right? Dude, There's just right? so much flavor. So, when they get nicely crusted, we're gonna take them out. Look nice. Put them on a dish. Look at all that, look at all that crust in the bottom of the pan. And you want to keep that yep. skin on, and you need to, and it was beautiful about that skin, it creates like a, a okay. flavor protector, an yes. insulator from so, all that so heat. So to this, this fat you keep here. Really nobody cares <laughs> about those two people. Yep. They keep talking, and he keep ignoring. Why they there? Are they still getting paid by Food Network to be ignored? Must be nice. My Uncle Roger's still married to ex-wife Auntie Helen. I get ignored for free. This good life, this one. Okay. Flavor protector, an yes. insulator from so, all that So heat. to this, this fat you keep here, some onion. No, traditional adobo, no onion. Yup, in traditional adobo, we do not use onion, but... Yup, it's optional, but not traditional. Uh, some garlic. Garlic, correct. A little salt and pepper. But wait too much, because we... Wait. Nope, 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 you don't use salt. <laughs> Soy sauce is too salty already. <laughs> wait, that it? That all the garlic you use? You just oh, use what? The that too little nephew suit guy. When Uncle Roger making a topo, I use like ten or twenty whole cloves of garlic. Oh, really? Just smush the whole clove and throw in pot. Nephew suit guy, use the right amount, not, not the, the white, white amount. amount. Okay, so I didn't know that. So they use ten cloves of garlic, really? Ten or twenty? Like how many does it? Um, how many does it serve? For 10 or 20 cloves, the more I know. For Asian cooking, garlic is like money. It never enough. <laughs> Just putting five slices in there. Don't tease us with your five little slices of garlic. <laughs> this guy treating garlic like truffle. And we're gonna stir that just to pick up the flavor. It doesn't have to get very brown because this is going to simmer for about 30 minutes. See that? It's not really, it's cooked, I just gathered all that stuff. And we're going to do another gathering by deglazing with the marinade. Deglazing? What do you mean deglazing? What, what deglazing mean? Yeah, Adding liquid to hot pan, which allow all the caramelized bits stuck to the bottom to release. Oh, so deglazing just mean using liquid to clean the pan? <laughs> Then just say that, no need to show off with your technical term. Life too short for this Le Cordon Blue cooking school bullshit. Deglazing. Does this guy also say he deglazing his toilet instead of flushing? <laughs> that stuff. And we're gonna do another- <laughs> True. Deglazing the freaking toilet, of course! <laughs> the gathering, by deglazing with the marinade, Okay. Very important in Filipino cooking with adobo is bay leaves. Bay leaf, correct? No, too, too little. Yep, too little. Use like more than that. I'm not sure how many exactly because I'm not such a fond of cooking for now, but we don't use, uh, we don't use that little. But you really need the flavor and just plain old fashioned water. Water, good. But I think oh, too, much, too, too much, too much. Too much, too much. Lala blow yan. <laughs> Adobo is actually saucy, not watery. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be so watery later. Stock. Okay, you're gonna put that the chicken skin side up, back in. Yeah? Cook in. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That is not adobo right there. Look at that sauce. It's so watery. It's not even brown anymore. Para sa tubig kanal. Yung adobo kasi, yung sauce, uh, kaya niyan dumikit doon sa chicken. Okay? In this stage right here, parang feeling ko hindi didikit yung sauce doon sa pan. Parang magiging sabaw yung sauce niya. This adobo gonna be so bland. Oh, exactly. it's great. It's, it's great. So it's great. Just look at it. Look at how watery it is! Enough garlic, too watery, not no. enough bay leaf. It's so simple. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, hindi siya dumidikit dun sa chicken, no? para, sa, para lang siya nagiging sabaw. Kung gusto niyo na sabaw, tap, dapat nagsinigal mo lang kayo. Sinigal mo tinola, mas madali pa yun, tsaka masabaw pa. Meron pa kadobo ganyan? And you can make this in basically start to finish about 45 minutes. But after you get this. Ugh! Oh. Too watery. Look at, okay, I knew it. Hindi nga dumikit yung sauce doon sa chicken. 
Kasi yung ibang chicken niya Galing pa sa marinade kanina Dapat kasi kapag Nagluluto ka ng adobo It should be coated in both the marinade and the sauce And since it's watery it's, There's so much water Hindi siya kumakapit dun sa chicken Kaya ganyan siya You know Nakakaawa to be honest What? So crap? Crap for what? The watery as shit yeah. Adobo is the opposite of woman It can definitely be too wet <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, children. In Filipino, we call that BASTOS! This crowd so easily impressed. Uncle Roger need to get these people to come to my comedy show. I have rice, warm white Ooh. rice with no seasoning. Very important because they have warm white Ooh. rice with no seasoning. Rice with no seasoning. It just called rice. That's what we call plain rice in Asia. Just rice. No, but they say rice with no seasoning. Hi, yeah. When you're eating bread, do you also say, oh, I'm eating bread with no spread? No, <laughs> we just say we're eating bread. Bread with Has no all, flavor. All the seasoning you need here, right? Oh, 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 oh. I want to see you react. Rice look okay. Yep. Hey, the habanero is in there. So, a little that beautiful sauce on top. That looks pretty darn good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look good. If I get an adobo like that, I will throw it back at him, to be honest. Oh, yeah. it look okay. Oh, oh so much parsley. Like what, 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 what? Parsley. Yep, yep, yep. Parsley. We don't put parsley in an adobo. We just leave it like that. We eat it with no parsley, with no garnish. No parsley at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he? Did he say parsley? Some parsley. Parsley into Filipino adobo. Yep. Uncle Roger's so upset, I put my leg down from chair. Parsley don't belong in Asian food. You're not making pasta. Yep. Uh. There's no traditional Filipino food that even puts parsley. Okay? If you're making it traditional, then be traditional. Come on. Parsley and adobo. What the fuck? Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> Nephew Who puts soup parsley? guy, what type of Asian food got parsley in it? I think and you said it's even traditional, okay? Get, take note of that. It's traditional. Making a traditional dish of Filipino adobo. I think this damn few soup guy want to put cilantro or spring onion, but he cannot find, so he go, oh, this parsley, also small green leaf type of thing. Put that shit in there, nobody notice. <laughs> Hiya. Some parsley. I was always served for me with lemon. What? So, really? Lemon? We don't even put calamansi into adobo why even bother with lemon <laughs> nobody eat adobo with we just uncle eat roger like i eating adobo so many times now never one time with lemon yep. what you mean always serve with lemon where you eating your adobo jamie oliver restaurant is it <gasps> shit not jamie alone <laughs> oh slips right through i can smell it look I knew it. It's gonna be so watery. So, I'll show you guys the simplest adobo picture that I could find. There it is. You can see here, the chicken is coated with sauce and the marinade. It's not like the one that they made. which is actually so bland and so watery. It doesn't even coat. And look at how many sauce it has. It's not too watery. There's actually a balanced amount of the sauce and the water. You also don't put lemon and parsley in there and notice that it uses actually uh, pamitang buo which is black pepper corn not ground black pepper uh, look at that too watery hiya nephew suit guy it all going okay until you add the parsley and now it all fucked up yep. uncle oh, roger's no. sad now it's it's fucked up because they eat, they put too much water in it. That's when it got fucked up. There's too much water. So I'm impressed. Uncle Roger is actually knowledgeable in Filipino dishes. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And yup. Ah, I'm disappointed. Well, I've expected it. It's a British Food Network show. <laughs>